what's up everyone Desi here and I'm back again for another vinyl collection video uh, I pulled out a big stack full of um, records to show you guys uh, it's mainly all black metal except for maybe like one or two dungeon synth releases um, yeah man uh, I'm gonna jump right into it because it's probably gonna be a longer video it's quite a big box here um, like I explained in a couple videos ago in my Dungeon Synth uh, Out of Season cassette tape unboxing, uh, I explained that I'm redoing my music room. Um, it's a big pain in the ass and yeah, I'm still in the middle of that right now. So uh, expect a, like another room tour or two. But anyways, I'm going to be doing um, a border around my room in, the, in those like uh, record frames. So I picked out a bunch of records that I haven't shown yet on this channel that may or may not be going up in these record frames um, around my room or whatever. Uh, so yeah, uh, I picked them all out so I don't, you know, have to fucking take them out later on down the road to show you guys, uh, which would be a big pain in the ass to take them all out of the record frames and put them back in. So I thought I'd get it done now, and yeah, there's quite a few there's quite a few gems in this box too so let's get right into it guys and yeah uh, first one actually is a gem um, Judas Judas Iscariot there you go um, distant and solitary night love the cover art on this one I got number 41 out of 100 Um, yeah man, it's super thin or whatever, you know, it's not like a um, professional LP cover or whatever, and then the inside is just white. <coughs> Fucking awesome though, love the cover art on it, and it just comes on um, this black, black vinyl here. Judas Iscariot Black Labels. Fucking awesome album. I'm sure y'all heard it. Alright, so that's Judas. Um, up next, uh, Al Gore. Uh, under, yeah, I'm not going to pronounce that. I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick that up or not. Um, but here it is on the front too. Uh, limited 250. It's two man, two man project. <clears throat> Album's fucking fan fucking tastic. Um, cover arts. I love that fucking cover art. It actually looks like a buddy of mine. Reminds me of a buddy of mine. Um, yeah, man. This will probably go up in a frame for sure love the cover art. What I'm trying to do with the frame border is like this these kind of simplistic um, you know black and white corpse paint artworks. I just love that shit. So yeah that's Al Gore with their album whatever that says in another language. Black final. Links will be down below to check all this stuff out, of course. So if you got time, check it out, man. Oh, uh, another gem. This is a gem for sure. Been after this for a while, and I uh, almost bought it a couple years ago on eBay. Um, but there was a big fucking bend in it somewhere like huge really bad and that probably would have bugged me so I, I never did buy it but it was going for fairly cheap um, considering but yeah man um, take or tacky or poke however you guys want to pronounce it fucking dope artwork probably my probably one of my favorite take album covers uh, for vinyl anyways limited to 500 I got number 103 and it's a gatefold as well with some real dope pictures inside Which 
sweet. Um, Hell Norse for uh, Spart metal. Probably fucked that up, but I believe that's how it's pronounced. Came out on perverted taste. Yeah, man. Uh, this also came with a um, a poster too. Here's the vinyl, just black vinyl. And the label on the other side is just a little bit different. Still got to get some poly sleeves for some of these. Some of them are pretty new. Picked up, you know, since Christmas around. I don't know. Some of them. Some of them I had for a while. Here's the poster it comes with. Um, pretty dope. Probably get a frame for that if I have room to hang it up. Of course, running out of running out of room. This room's kind of small in here, so. Yeah, that's uh, take, talk, tacky, whatever the fuck you guys pronounce it. It's what it is, man. Alright, uh, fuck, another gem, actually, another grail item here. Um, Armageddon. Uh, the final war approaching. Fucking sick. Um, album cover again. I just love fucking shit like that. Uh, limited to 500, got number 408. Somber Records. Uh, I don't think it came with any goodies. But yeah, uh, Armageddon, check it out. Black Vinyl. And the other side. Final war approaching. I'm not going to talk too much about all these because there's so fucking many here that I want to try and get through them all. And I'm sure most of these are classics. I'm sure you guys heard them anyways, right? And if you haven't, check out the links and check them out for yourself. See if it's something you like or not. Alright, next one, Odell, um, I guess that was pronounced, Odell, 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 um, on Old Paths, back, uh, no goodies inside, pretty sure it's just black vinyl, yep. And the other label there for you. Odell on old on old paths. Really good early um, material by Odell. Another Odell. Odell. Um, the Strumus Strumus Blunt. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Really awesome cover again. That uh, simplistic art that I really love. Oh, it's a gatefold as well. I don't think it came with any goodies, though. There's the gatefold. Check it out if you haven't. Strumus Spluts. Black vinyl. Whoa. And poly sleeves, man. They'd be slippery. They're good, though. They're good. That's the shit. That's the good shit. Alright. Some classics here. Uh, this is the 1995 one. Get it out of a sleeve. Lembonic Art. Um, rehearsal from 95. Really fucking good rehearsal, actually. This is a fucking awesome, awesome record. For sure. Um, limited to 200. Uh, my copy is 141. And here's the back.
Pretty sweet picture there. Love the cover. Awesome. And it came with a little goodie. Little poster. Oop. This poster of the L Mark. And here's the record itself. Like a gray or a silver. Silver vinyl. And that's Slimbonic Slimbonic Art uh, rehearsal from '95. And uh, I have to put a lot of records away after. <laughs> Again, uh, Lombardic Arts, and I believe this is the rehearsal from 96, yep, yeah. uh, 1996, uh, rehearsal, yeah, cover arts, fucking dope, and here's the back. Oh, this came with the goodies. The goodies, uh, this really sweet uh, little booklet with um, like silver robotic art logo on it. Um, it's got like pictures of the the original demo um, cassette tape inlays, some lyrics and such. Another oh, uh, this is the promo tape inlay, original promo tape inlay. That's yeah, cool. Come with it, and actually, this is pretty sweet too. First record of all the records that I've ever seen have this. If you look, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick this up, but if you look inside, you can see like a pentagram inside. At first, I thought it was like an inner sheet. But, um, yeah, it's printed on the inside there like that. I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, it's fucking dope. I really like that. I like what they did there. And it came on this really nice, like, gold, um, I don't know what to call it. Goldish splatter or whatever. Very nice. So that was uh, Lombok Art, rehearsal from 96. Alright, up next, uh, um, Vlad Tepes. <clears throat> uh, um, the Return of the Unweeping. Pretty well a classic. And I believe it's just black vinyl here. Yep, black vinyl. And label on the other side. Vlad Tepes, uh, Return to the Unweeping. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to find a link for this or not, but I'll try and I'll leave it below. I actually think the next two here are Vlad's. So again, we got Vlad Tepes, um, Into Frosty Madness. Fucking awesome raw black metal that I'm sure everyone's heard already. And again, it comes on this black vinyl. And the other label, label's pretty dope. On this side. Vlad Tepes, Into Frosty Madness. Alright, what do we got? Okay, last Vlad. Um, this, this one, I can't pronounce the album title. Dan's Morty... Yeah, no. It's right there, though. Awesome, um... 
album art. I love that. There's the back. I'm sure it didn't come with any goodies. Doesn't look like it. Um, and again, black vinyl. And this logo on the other side. Three flags. Um, this is this is pretty well a gym. Story behind this one is um, if you guys watched my picture disc collection video, um, I have I had this on picture disc, the Ragnarok, Black Door Miracle picture disc version. <clears throat> And in the last few months, I've actually sold a few of my picture discs from that video and uh, replaced them all with um, the actual non-picture disc versions, you know, this version, the ones that come with covers or black vinyl and whatever. Um, not all my picture discs, but the ones that I could get other versions of the disc. Um, I sold all my discs to a close friend of mine, ones that I could get, you know, because I could get Ragnarok, this version, so I sold my Ragnarok picture discs. And there's a couple others in here that I did that same idea with. Just because, I don't know, I think, um, I don't know, I like the full cover artwork and, I don't know, black vinyl and um, even other colors of vinyl. Other than picture discs, I tend, I seem find, blah, I seem to find sound better. So yeah, Ragnarok, Black Door Miracle, fun classic. Um, here's the inner sleeve, band photos, lyrics, and it just comes on black vinyl. All right, so that's Ragnarok, Black Door Miracle. All right, next one. Is Moloch. Uh, Depressive Black Metal Plague. If you don't have this yet, this is super cheap um, on Discog. It always goes for like super cheap. Um, yeah, it's it's a one-sided record. Uh, the other side's just like dead wax, <clears throat> so maybe that's why. It's limited to a hundred copies, and the fucking album is just awesome. Or I guess it's an EP. But yeah, man, it's really really good. I got number thirty-one out of a hundred, right there. Moloch. Press a black metal play. Links will be below. Check that out. Um, so here it is. That's the dead wax side. And that's the other side with the tunes on it. And the record just ended in the back. I'm probably going to flip that really quick. Also got this little card with it. Just a little promo card for the for the album. So that was Moloch to press the black metal plague. And let me flip the record. All right, next record um, is Stargeist, uh, feeding the crawling shadows. <clears throat> really nice gatefold. And the back, I believe, just came with goodies, unless I'm thinking of something else. I think I'm thinking of something else. Yeah. Didn't come with any goodies. <coughs> uh, just black fly. Sargus, um, Sargus, uh, feeding on the crawling shadows. <clears throat> I'm sure y'all heard 
that one. All right, next record. This is really new, I actually just picked this up in the last couple of weeks. Um, this is um, Dark Throne, uh, The Wind of 666 Blackhearts. Um, it's rehearsals from 1991 and um, and rehearsals from 1992. Uh, uh, yeah, side one is rehearsals from 91 and side two is rehearsals from 1992. Here's the back and it comes on this gatefold. That was, it was really good. I spun it once so far, and I uh, really enjoyed it. Uh, nice white vinyl. That's a double LP. Dark Throne. Um, the Wind of 666 Blackhearts. Alright, uh, so here's another one of those um, ones I replaced. Uh, I used to have Dark Thrones Under a Funeral Moon on Picture Disc. Um, I showed it in my Picture Disc video and I sold the Picture Disc to buy this. Got the 2010 pressing and it looks great. So there it is, uh, the back. And comes with the sheet. Nothing on the back. I think it's just black vinyl. Also comes with this. A couple of seam splits in there. That's what happens when you leave your. Uh, this is brand fucking new. That's what happens when you leave your uh, records in the collectible sleeves? Nice printed, awesome sleeves like this. Start getting seam splits, and that's one of the main reasons everyone they don't have to it costs money right but you should if you're planning on keeping these motherfucking records for all your life and passing them down to your kids you know be worth a lot of money to them and they can do what you know it's best to just keep them as nice as you can so buy some you know poly inner sleeves which i gotta do yet for this but anyways enough of the little bit of a rant there i guess dark throne under a funeral moon Oh shit, records are piled up. Alright. Okay, uh, next one. Ruin Spell. I should really take out all these records from these sleeves beforehand. Um, Unhallowed Blood, Blood Oath. Uh, came out on Iron Bonehead. Uh, yeah, man. I seen it on Iron Bonehead, was shopping on Iron Bonehead. Cover attracted me and I quickly went to YouTube to check out uh, what the fuck this ruin spell was and oh yeah, definitely definitely dug it instantly and bought it pretty well instantly. Fucking nice picture there and nice picture on the other side as well. Ruin spell. Uh, I think it's just black vinyl. Yeah. So check out Ruin Spell if you haven't checked it out. Links will be down below. Ah, oh, there's a gem. A gem I've been after for a while. I, surprised I didn't buy this a long fucking time ago. I don't know why I didn't buy it a long time ago. But whatever, we got it now. Uh, Drowning Light, Serpent's Ring. Probably one of my favorite, one of my favorite Drowning Light um, album cover arts. Um, limited 300, got number 204. Really dope pictures on the back there of the band members. Yeah. Drown your light, the serpent's ring. 
And I got it on this nice splatter color. It's fucking awesome. Actually got this as a Christmas gift from the girlfriend, I believe. She got me a few few gem records for Christmas. There's a Serpent's Rain poster that came with the record. Another Johnny the Light, um, Oceans of Eternity. Um, another one that I've been after for a while. Um, meant to pick it up when it was released, and there's always something else to buy, you know what I mean? And I just never did, and, and I definitely regret it because I paid a little too much for this, but it's all good. The thing's in mint condition. Just the shining limited 300. I'm not. Sh it's not hand numbered or anything, but there's the back. Another awesome album artwork um, that I love from John Light. Black vinyl. Really nice labels on there, and on the B side is a different label. John the Light, Oceans of Eternity. And what do we got? I'm gonna have to cut this vid and do it. We're like halfway through the box. I'm probably gonna cut this vid short because it's gonna it's probably gonna be way too fucking long. I'll have to do two parts. Um John the Light to the end um, to the end of time. Just a sheet. Nice stick cardboard sheet. Um, it's just the picture disc version. Um, number 217 of 300. So I just have it sitting with some cardboard. It slips in there and I got the disc sitting behind. Grab that and show you guys the picture disc. Pretty sweet. There's the there's the front, and there's the back. Here's the drowning in the light to the end of time poster that came with the picture disc. Oh yeah, I don't know if I told you guys already, but this is what we're spinning in the back. I already made a, a previous video of me unboxing this motherfucker. Um, definitely my most valuable record I own for sure. Fucking awesome split, man. I've been listening to it non fucking stop since I got it. Just over and over and over again. Alright, maybe we'll do a couple more here and call it done. Um, Bal Gadriel. Uh, I believe that's how it's pronounced. Bal Gadriel. Um, Decade of Intolerance. Uh, this is a Go to War X release, uh, number 34. Uh, comes with the, the Obi strip. Fucking awesome. Love Obi strips. Here's the back. I've been after this fucking John the Light record for a while like on my top of my most wanted list um the war that never ends this one you got that motherfucker you want to trade you want to sell hit me up fuck i'll get back to you a asap man hit me up on facebook or some shit discogs whatever i'll trade you i'll fucking buy it i'll offer you uh, um you know a nice price fair price yeah man um, they have another um, one on vinyl too, Balgadrio. Usually goes for quite a bit. But I was lucky enough to score um, this one for a fair price. So, uh, yeah, man. Um, thanks to uh, homie Garrett for hooking me up with this. Uh, black vinyl. Yeah, the other label's a little different, so I'll show you that too. 
Bell guy drill, decade, decade of intolerance. Should be a link for that. Should be able to find a link for that. Ah, uh, this I don't think I'm hanging up, but it's in the pile here, so I might as well show it to you. Um, orgy can. Orgy. Orgy. Um, comes with this little slip. Nice and nice red paper was printed on. And the cover. Still after um, the other orgy OP, but it'll come eventually. I ain't spending fifty thousand million dollars on it from some fucking fuckboy uh, record flipper. So gotta be a fair price, not cheap, cheap. I'm willing to pay, pay you know, a fair price. It's not ridiculously. You know. Black vinyl, just white labels, and deep. Super awesome raw black metal. <clears throat> or did you carry on? Um, more super fucking awesome black metal. Raw black metal, sorry. And this is probably going to be have to be the last one here, guys, because this video is ridiculously long. I'll show you the rest in the next video, I guess. Blood Tyrant. Uh, Night of the Blood Moon. Um, this was Skold's release um, number seven on Skold. Uh, this is the red, red and black version. It also came on a uh, white and black. I kind of really digging. The, I, originally, I wanted the white, the white and black, but I'm fucking really digging this red, man. Fucking awesome! I really like that red. And folds out like this. Fucking cool. Fucking album's just awesome. And it's just a black vinyl. Label there, and this label on that side. Blood Tart, Night of the Blood Moon. Alright guys, uh, I better call it done for that. We went through quite a bit. There's, there's about a half box left. So I'll catch you guys in the next one, and yeah man, see ya.